Today on RC Construction in Canada, I'm going to find out if I have what it takes to make parts out of metal for my RC construction vehicles. Could this be the end of 3D printing? We'll find out. Well, how's everybody doing today? <clears throat> I thought I'd try something a little different this time. Uh, I want to start getting into making stuff out of metal. Uh, I've done some 3D printing for a while. It's okay, but as you can see, this piece is broken here. And I want to have things be a little bit more durable than uh, 3D printed filament for certain applications. So metal, I decided, would be a good way to go on that. Um, <clears throat> what I got right here is a little 3D printed jig that I made this morning, uh, just so I can get a better outline on this. Uh, this is a piece of brass in here. I can solder brass, so uh, I decided that I would kind of do reverse of what I had uh, with the thumb here printing it. I just make the actual outline of it. Um, I had no tools for metal really at all except for my drill press and a tap and die set. So um, basically I had to actually go out to the store and purchase a couple things today like get a scribe. Um, I grabbed uh, some other files. I needed like a half round file. I had one flat uh, file. Um, and then I also purchased a, a 12 inch metal shear, a hand crank metal shear. So that'll help me to cut things. Uh, it was actually pretty bad to the point where I was just using um, these guys right here, which is just a little uh, metal, bimetal um, jigsaw blade from my jigsaw, because that's how I was kind of cutting the, sh the basic shape out to, to actually get, um, get something going so I could actually start fashioning it. Um, <clears throat> the next problem I had was I was trying to outline the shape on the metal, but the pencil was actually adding thickness to it, so it was making it bigger than it was. So this morning I had an idea that if I did something like this, I could kind of reverse it and uh, I could get a scribe and I could get in there and really kind of scribe the outline of it to get it very close to the, the shape I need. And then once I've got that scribe a few times and I'm happy with it, I'm gonna take this off. And then I should be able to find out um, if I need to cut or dremel or file uh, to get closer to this shape. I haven't really made hardly anything, honestly, out of metal. Um, the only things I have done were some uh, electric cylinders I made for um, my uh, excavators. I don't have any of those on me right now, but I can just put a picture on later showing uh, um, what those look like and uh, did some brass soldering with some of this uh, uh, K&S uh, telescopic tubing I got here. So a couple of different sizes I have put together and uh, I was able to make that happen. So. Uh, yeah, I'm going to kind of stop yabbering and uh, kind of show a little bit of work here. But the first thing I said is going to be just going over this a couple more times, just scribing it out, get the shape. And then uh, once I pull this piece off, I'll be able to find out if I need to uh, file Dremel or however I'm going to cut that down to size and get it to, to be a lot nicer. Uh, I'm hoping that metal is going to kind of take over here from 3D printing for the most part, depending on how complicated the piece is. Um, I don't have a lot of uh, building experience with metal, so it's going to be a learning curve for me. But that's great because I like to uh, I like to kind of show the the effort and stuff, and that you don't just uh, you know see the nice stuff, the finished product. I want you to see how many times I screw up <laughs> in making something, so that it actually uh, you know people just don't get the wrong impression that you know things just kind of magically appear because that's not how stuff happens. So, anyways, uh, yeah, thanks and. Uh, I'll show you the next bit when I have something done. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so I uh, took the little jig mold that I made there. That's off of there. Uh, and then uh, I was able to scribe the shape out much better. Uh, so what I'm going to end up doing here is looking at how much material I still got to take off. It's, you kind of see it. Yeah, you can sort of see it in the, in the light there. But uh, yeah, I'm going to have to do a bunch of filing, a bunch of cutting, trim that down to the size I need, and then uh, file it down as well. And then I should be able to have one side of this thumb uh, built up, and then I should be ready to take on the other side after that. So uh, bear with me, and I'll show the next bit after I'm done.
well, all three of those ways is not really that great. So maybe I suck or the tools I'm using suck. One of the, one, one thing is not going. So yeah, um, I'm not sure. Maybe I can just try cutting a bit more with the hacksaw or something like that. It'd be nice to try and get this closer to that scribe line before I start filing it down. Cause I don't want to be filing forever, but uh, we'll see what I can do here. Well, this will be the last last video for the day. I had a pretty great day, actually. I got nothing done, but I got something done. It was pretty sweet. <laughs> this still stayed the same. I got described, hadn't done anything. Because afterwards, my dad showed up and I had some questions for him and I asked him, hey, what's some things I can do to take this down and all that kind of stuff? And he said, where's your bench grinder? Which said, well, I don't have one. So I went out and got a bench grinder. So I got a bench grinder, which will work great. Then I was looking last night because I was interested in trying to get a, uh, a metal bandsaw and I was unsuccessful. But uh, when I went looking for this, I saw this. And so I got pretty much the next best thing for, for uh, cutting metal without being a bandsaw is I got this metal cutting scroll saw as well today so I picked that up so that's awesome so I got some good stuff I ended up taking that um, uh, that shear back because when I got that I didn't really need it so I took the shear back so I got a scroll saw I got my my uh, my uh, drill press I got a bench grinder and then I've got uh, just the other little tools like the Dremel and I got the files and all this kind of stuff. I got a couple of these guys picked up too. Picked up also a little tiny hacksaw and just another light. So yeah, I got some good stuff today set up for hopefully being a little bit more successful and doing some metal work. So next thing's gonna be to actually mount these guys uh, somewhere. I really actually really need to kind of reconfigure my shop, but I'm not gonna get to that for a little bit. So uh, yeah, next thing will be to get the bench grinder mounted and then I'll be able to do some uh, finer zing zing zings there, which will be good. And, uh, and then also uh, try and get in with my file maybe and uh, try and cut down some of this stuff a little more for the teeth, as well as do a little bit more detailing around there. Those are some arches and stuff there as well. So I got the round file I'll put in on that to make that. And uh, yeah, it should be looking pretty good for this metal excavator thumb so good day I didn't really get as much done as I wanted to that way but I certainly will get more done now that I got better tools to uh, to handle this kind of work so I'm pretty excited about that so yeah good day <laughs>